Hey guys, Joshua Peterson, Peterson Electric. I want to show you the second part, or fourth part of my video. Um, this I wanted to show you the tools that we needed for this job. It uh, also helped me remember for future, but... Okay, so far back... Um, probably need a six foot ladder when we took out all that trenching. Uh, just my typical hand tools for electrical. Um, my battery chargers, cordless drill, sawzall. Right here, I have a gas chainsaw. I needed that to clean out vegetation. Uh, this right here, hammer drill, you may need for anchoring. Right here. We do, we did need this. You may need this as well. So if you are a homeowner, you're going to have to spend some money, but... This is typically about a $2,000 knockout set, but it, it does a two inch die because then the bottom of that 125 amp panel, we had to knock that out. Uh, typical broom. We used a dolly to help us load. Uh, we had a generator. 50 interwatt generator Yamaha, so we could run her refrigerators, keep her food cold. And some two inch fittings, inch and a half as well. Gas can, two shop vacuum vacs, probably a masking, cutting out all that drywall. Um, and then some number six copper, which would be uh, bare. You could go stranded green, which is right over here. Uh, the only thing that I really forgot was my pressure washer. Uh, that would have been great to clean up that that uh, trencher. Also needed my square so I could cut my drywall with straight. And then I wouldn't ever go without these. These large 460 channel locks. Great for two to three inch pipe. And then let me show you the trencher. I rented this trencher um it ended up costing about 300 bucks but i also have to clean it and gas it then i have to take it there deliver it and come back take it back to them so uh typically my fee on that could be 500 to 600 bucks total with it renting it and everything i needed i need it for a full day uh but this is the boxer 120 it does, they have some that say they do 36 inch trencher, but they're not. This is truly a 30, 30 in, 32 inch trencher because you need to subtract a few inches. But this is a, a chariot driven to right on the back. It has a track. This is awesome to just stay focused without it digging in. Those big tires, they just dig in. Um, but yeah, it's a four cylinder gasser. Great trencher, I, I would suggest that if you're gonna do this. Don't go with those Mickey Mouse ones. They, you're not going to get the depth. Uh, again, we had to drop that stinger a couple different directions just so we could clean that trench out without having to dig everything out. And then when we come up with that conduit, we get that really deep. I'm so sorry about that damn dog. Um, we just trench that through and forward. That way we don't have to really pick it out on the corners as well. So this trencher, by far, couldn't have done it with anything else. If we could have got a bigger one, fine, but we would have had to take the fence down, and that's the one with the four large tires. And that's the big stinger on the back that does 48 inches. Those I love, because uh, they have the scoop on the front. But renting one of those, man, you're looking at uh, probably close to a grand a day. Um, but anyways, thanks for joining us, guys.